hi guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are a subscriber today we're going to be unboxing the unif bubble platform sandals i have never bought a pair of shoes from unif so this is my very first pair of unif shoes so i'm very excited to unbox them and not only am i going to be doing an unboxing and kind of like a first impression slash review i'm also going to be styling the shoes in about three or four different outfits that i think would look good with these shoes before we start this video i do want to let you guys know that this necklace that i am wearing is actually a collab piece with my brand ghost soda and the jewelry brand crypt fairy so this design that we created together is a little butterfly with a little skull in the middle and the wings of the butterfly are spider webs and then on the back of it it actually has gsxcf which is ghost soda x crypt fairy and if you guys want your own necklace because honestly i i literally love this necklace it goes so well with pretty much anything it has a very like pastel grunge vibe to it um but if you guys are interested in it i will link it in the description but you can also just visit like my social media or crypt fairy social media for the links uh on where to buy this and also if you would like to check out my depop my depop username is ghost soda i upcycle stuff i post a lot of vintage and y2k items so if you want to support me otherwise uh go ahead and check out my depop again my username is ghost soda on depop i i'm not gonna lie to you guys i did take a sneak peek i did already open the box and I might have tried them on already. I am so sorry. I would have totally waited. But here's the thing. So I ordered this package on Black Friday of 2021. Right now it is currently April 2022. And the reason why I'm not filming this unboxing until now is because about beginning mid-December, I got really, really sick. I had a really bad chronic illness flare-up. I could not get out of bed. And not even until recently, I feel like I have come through that like during that time I got COVID I had to get so many tests done like it was awful and like I there was no way I could even think about like doing a YouTube video so thank you guys for bearing with me um this has been long awaited and I am ready to unbox these shoes so this is actually my very first purchase from UNIF and not only did I get the uh bubble platform sandals I also got a one of the flower shirts I forgot the name of the style let's just dig right in so let me go ahead and open this. Ah. So the cardboard box is just what they ship their stuff in. Here's the actual shoe box. And then here's the shirt that I ordered. And for Black Friday sales, I think like all of their stuff has like no returns on Black Friday sales. My shirt came with like shredded packaging. And I think it's just because it won't let me return it because it was a Black Friday purchase. So... That's totally fine. They probably don't do that normally, I assume. Um, but here is the beautiful shoe box. And I will open it up. Oh, here are my bubble platforms. They also came in these like dust bags. So the material for this is kind of like iridescent, as you can tell. I really love the design for these. They're very heavy. And I assume if you're watching this video, you either just want to support me or you're interested in buying your own pair of bubble platforms. So I will try to give you guys like the best review I can of these so you'll know what you're getting if you're interested in buying your own pair. Because I was hesitant to buy them and after buying them, I totally don't regret buying them just because they are such a cute design and such a cute shape and they are very versatile. Whether you want to wear them with like socks or tights or just wear them with your bare feet in them, they are just like a super versatile style. So right off the bat, these are heavy shoes. Um, I don't have my scale around right now, but I bet you guys these weigh at least a pound per shoe. Like these are crazy heavy, which I love because if they were any lighter, I guess they would be easier to trip in, um, if that makes sense. I wear platform shoes a lot, so these are just, I, I don't know, I just love how heavy they are. You guys can also see how iridescent the fabric on these shoes are. This is like fabric, and I don't know what fabric it is. On the tag it says polyester, but like, it, it, there could be a certain name for this kind of fabric and I wouldn't know. Also the straps on top that go over your foot, they are also fabric and I was concerned when buying these shoes because I, I know I'm going to wear these out. Like I know I'm going to wear these all the time. I'm already in love with them. I was concerned that like with the straps, with them being fabric and with the price of the shoes, I'm like this better hold up. So again, I haven't like worn them out anywhere yet, but I'm hoping they hold up. 
So these shoes have a Velcro strap across the ankle. They also say Unif on the sole. On the bottom, there is a rubber sole and there is some marks because like I said, I did try them on. There's like these little lines. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but like there's these little lines and it's not super grippy. And usually for platform shoes, it's good to have them be grippy because they're easier to like trip in, fall in, whatever. On the inside of the shoe, there is a seam, but on the outside, you cannot see it. Um, I'd rather have the seam be on the inside than the outside anyways. So I guess like I'll just kind of throw in like a mini review for this shirt. I thrift like a lot and a lot of my knitwear is all of my knitwear is thrifted. When I say knitwear, I just mean like sweaters and cardigans. And right off the bat, it is more stiff and less soft than my thrifted sweaters and i think that's just kind of a given because like all my thrifted stuff has been washed a bunch of times it's old you know it's like vintage so i think after i wash this a couple times it'll definitely soften up but i love the colors the flower on the front is like fleece i love the tag and i love this little paper tag that comes with it and it says music will help. I love this and I cannot wait to wear it. I give this five out of five stars, but then again, I haven't tried it on yet, uh, but you know what? I love it. I love it and I can't wait to wear it. Hi, it's future Hannah here. I feel like a total bozo the clown because I gave a review before I even tried it on. Basically, don't buy this shirt. The sleeves are really, really short. It's really itchy. I really don't recommend it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try these on for you guys and then I'm gonna put together about three or four outfits that I think would look awesome with these shoes to kind of give you guys some inspiration if you have a pair of bubble platforms or you're interested in buying a pair. Do you guys like the squirrel socks that my grandma gave me? Yes, I know I love them too. They're so cute. So here's the platform shoes. They have the little Velcro closure, which I really love. Here, I'm a size 9, and these literally fit perfectly. They are not too big and they are not too small, so I highly recommend that you get your exact size. These shoes are literally the most, literally my new favorite shoes. Like, I adore everything about these shoes. The little curve in the bottom, the way that it, like, comes up a little bit. I think these are going to be my shoes of the summer. All right, I'm going to put together some outfits for you guys, and I will be right back. Hi you guys, so here is look number one. So I had this pair of red tights, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I thought that these sandals would look super cute with a pair of tights. So I paired some red tights with the sandals and then I found this plaid midi skirt and this watermelon sweater that I think would just look so cute together. And I think they do, it kind of gives like a little picnic vibe. And as a necklace, I chose to wear this cherry necklace that is also by the brand Crip Fairy. And then under the sweater, I just have a sparkly tank top that I thrifted. Everything that I'm wearing is thrifted, except for obviously the shoes and then the Crypt Fairy necklace. Hi there friends, I just switched over to voiceover mode real quick, but for outfit number two, I chose to pair the sandals with a pair of socks instead of a pair of tights, and I chose a black and white color theme for this outfit. So for the skirt, I printed this skirt myself, it is Robert Pattinson from his GQ cover, and then for the top, I paired a Trip NYC halter with a cute little white cardigan and a cross necklace that I actually made myself. And then for outfit number three, I went back to the tights because I think these shoes just look so good in tights. And I paired these tights with a little mini skirt so, so it showed a little bit more legs. And then I matched this mini skirt with a Custo Barcelona top. And the top matches the tights and just the colors and all of this, they just all like bounce off of each other and I love it and then I paired it with a choker. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you are not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. See you guys in the next video.